Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If we look at the example from the last lesson, where we had a 3D cell range reference that was used to create a formula, you can see that a 3D cell range is one cell range that spans through several sheets. So in example number two, the range is cell B2, but it is cell B2 in all of the worksheets from sheet one through sheet three. When referencing 3D ranges and formulas, you use the colon symbol to separate the names of the first and the last sheets within the range, followed by a single cell range reference. The cell reference given is then used as the selected cell range through all of the worksheets listed. So in this example, you're adding cell B2 from sheet 1, sheet 2, and sheet 3. Note that in 3D ranges, the given cell range cannot change from one sheet to another. Otherwise, it would just be another 3D formula, and you should use one of the other two alternate syntaxes that are available. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.